Welcome back, everyone, and Annalisa Don. I'm your host, Dominic, and we have a 3v3 on one of the last, last request. Came in during the stream, actually. Astrin, Cizio, and. Or Cizio? Cizio, yeah. Cizio and Manu 12 against Troutor, Silent Shadow, and Angel Killer. Let's see. Spiders, tanks, and shields versus spiders, cloaky, and jump bots. So the Eastern team is much more what I'd expect for this map. Though tanks actually are remarkably popular on Wanderlust. But I more that I'm surprised for a map that's as terrain dependent as it is, like as hilly as it is, that tanks get played on this map. That's the remarkable part. They're played at all. But at this point it looks like Western team going for a bit more of an aggressive setup. Not really seeing a lot of fleas coming out from Trator, surprisingly. Astron going for them quite hard, but Trator decides nope. I'm just going to go in with the Redbacks and assume everything. Probably a bad idea. Granted, the Redback was a good idea, because now this band is not going to be able to do anything, and Manu 12 on the ball, making sure they don't get caught out by the Redback. Glad to see that. They might get caught out by Silent Shadow's Commander. Nope. Sees that coming. Actually, Astron with all the fleas, of course, that does mean that there's plenty of vision for the Western team. In fact, at this point, they are... Yeah, they're doing fine. The fleet... A couple of them will be spotted out. This Pyro... No, it doesn't... Oh, okay, the second pyro might spot the flea? Nope, does not spot the flea. So, yeah, Astron's got a bit of a forward scouting going. That is the most important thing with spiders, is that you know exactly what your opponent's doing. Spiders are all about information. You have the raider on their on their worker, on the weaver. You have fleas you're going to spread everywhere. And we saw before, in the first game today, that fleas are really good as an assault force if you have enough of them. But I don't think Astron's going to do that. I, against jump bots, that doesn't work. Pyros just put a stop to that. Everything does, really. Moderators are the one thing I think you'd be able to make them useful for. And with a mixed force, that's not going to happen. Same time, the blitzes coming in here from Chezio are... They're perfect. They're exactly what's needed to stop this force and basically wipe out everything. Because right now, Chezio can basically just get rid of any powers that come after them. The Glaives as well, they're basically doomed. Hey, this Metal Extractor, why not kill that? Let's go kill that. There you go. Get rid of the Metal Extractor. Just barely in range, but it works. Yeah, those Blitzes are going to have a pretty easy time of it. I expect we're going to see some Counterforce come in. We have Knights coming in to help deal with them. And nothing coming in here from the north side. The Redbacks might help a little bit, but honestly what I'd like to see... Like, Knights are good. That'll help. They have enough HP they can deal with the Blitzes. And they can stun them out at the same time. Otherwise... Yeah, Glaze might do okay. Just to help get rid of them. Redbacks would do fine too. Just the Redbacks are kind of out of position. And the problem is the speed. But the Knights can stop it defensively, and there we go. Stun out. Well, yeah. Stun out one of them just about. At least it would if it would stay in place, because of course it's not going to, because why would it? Oh, and there's the Fleece Silent Shadows Commander under a bit of damage. It's not going to get destroyed, but still, pointing out where it is, helping just push back that little bit more. Yeah, that, that knight. The problem for it is the rogues. Like, getting rid of the blitz isn't a big deal. It's getting rid of the rogues is the problem. Ah, but Silent Shadows Commander is already prepared for that. Still, though, look at the territory here. Mana 12 already taking the north. Ashton's taking the south. Chessie's doing a fine job just, you know, maintaining some pressure with the blitzes. Not to mention Manu also with the rogues pushing Silent Shadows Commander back. And Astron over to the south, making sure that Angel Killer can't really do anything. And the side's coming in here from Silent Shadow, trying to do their best, but it's not enough. The Ogre, as soon as it gets another shot on it, will kill it. So, like, right now, Western team already starting out very strong, continuing to, continuing to dominate the match. Oh, but this Metal Extractor stays up. Still three metal per second. But Western team so far ahead on economy, it may not even matter. They have most of the three metal per second extractors. One of them haven't just been knocked down by these Ronin. So it's not quite that clear cut. But uh, Angel Killer's commander against Ashton's commander. Ashton might actually lose the commander in a second. Angel Killer taking a lot of damage from the Lotuses, but it's not enough. Angel Killer getting rid of Ashton's commander. Bit of a blow for the Western team's economy, but not by much. Western team is still ahead. Of course, the Minotaur getting damaged could be another small blow just for the amount of firepower that's gone. On top of allowing these Redbacks to get in and actually get rid of the thugs. Getting under those shields, getting under the outlaws as well. With the Outlaw gone, it'll take a little while for this force to recover, getting rid of the slow status, but those Redbacks did a lot of good work pushing back Manu 12. 
That being said, Charter still has to set set more of them in, but hey, the one survived even. Hey, I thought it died. Same time though, south side of the map, Ogre coming in here, wiping out everything that's been built up, pushing Angel Color back into their factory. Now there's not much the Pyros can do here. The Miters are a really good choice. The Pyros will have no options for what to do to deal with this Ogre. It's entirely up to the Moderator, but that's the thing. Chesio knows that and just moving back. Playing it safe. That's the thing with tanks. You always got to make sure you're not losing units unnecessarily. Like that Minotaur being caught out, that was really good play from Charter and Silent Shadow to make sure it was caught out. Because, I mean, Chesio wanted to retreat that. Of course they did. But they just couldn't. Because you can't retreat when you're surrounded like that. So it worked out well. Same time, though, Angel Clear not really getting a whole lot of resistance from their force here. Pyros are not going to be stopped by the Flea, so they can just walk right into Astron's base, and there's not much there to stop them. Same time, this Minotaur trying to retreat, taking a lot of damage in the process. Might be able to, but the Crab is making that difficult. Taking half damage before it gets caught, and before it gets all sieged up, but that's fine. Gets rid of the Minotaur again and does not die. So good efficiency coming out from Charitor here. Silent Shadow continuing to try to help with that, and managing to get rid of the shield reasonably well. Again, things like EMP and slow, they do hit shields really hard. So those thugs don't really have much of a chance dealing with the knights. Or if the moderators go in there. Or heck, even if some of the con if the constables go in there as well. The jump up builders. But it may not matter. Chezio just making sure the south side of the map remains safe. Making sure the center remains safe. Just keeping Angel Killer at bay. Same time, that power didn't even do anything. Over in the over in Astron's base. The Pyro set didn't actually accomplish much. Problem, of course, here being the Crab, and not a whole lot of knights here to actually stop these convicts from being able to reclaim. So, right now, Western team able to get the reclaim off of their forces dying. Silent Shadow will be able to get some of the reclaim, getting that caretaker up to help get the reclaim off of. Well, mostly off of the Minotaur here. Now, there's a couple of Minotaurs that have been reclaimed a little bit, but still, if Eastern team can grab that, it'll help even things out a little bit. They do have a better attrition score, actually. Mostly from getting rid of the Minotaurs. Like, every Minotaur gone, that's 800 metal that didn't have to die. And Chessio's doing everything they can to get it out of the way, and it looks like this Minotaur will survive, but still, that's a lot of damage that is not being answered for. However, there's the Ogre. That's the answer! Get rid of that Pyro. Get rid of the... Well, maybe not the Miters. The Miters are not going to be killed by the, by the Ogre. In fact, they're going to be able to kill the Minotaur pretty shortly. Problem, of course, being that the Moderator has slowed down the Minotaur, so there's not much it can do. Same time over in the north, Recluse plus Crab, trying his best against the Rogues, but having a bit of a tough time, especially now that the Racketeer is in place. Three or four more hits, that Crab is going to be disarmed, and at that point, Silent Shadow will have nothing to, to protect their commander. Traitor will have basically nothing to protect their base. Once that... Oh, man, two more hits to the Racketeer. There's two Racketeers. There's the last two hits, and there it is. Well, initial disarm, but that's enough. That is what the, that's the cue. Man who told moving forward, should be able to get rid of Silent Shadow's commander, mostly thanks to that Stinger and the Rogues. Very well played as well, making sure that they don't get too close to the commander. Like, as it dies, that is. And the Crab being taken out as well, nothing is going to really protect it, other than the fact that it has armor, yes, from being sieged up. But there's so much firepower, it does not matter. And if I got moved at all, I'd be dead. But even then, it doesn't matter. At the same time, Angel Color at the south, trying to do what they can to help maintain the forces. But really, it's the northern side that's the main problem. The crab is gone. The... There's no real defenses left. There's some recklessness and redbacks trying to do what they can. Trator's commander, along with the phantom, might be able to hold off. Trator's commander, however, having nothing upgraded. So there's really not much they can do other than try to help build up this crab to maybe push back this force. But honestly, I don't see that happening. Manu 12's army is way too big right now. At the same time, over to the south. There's some pushback against Chezio, but it may not matter. Troutor looks to be losing their base. Their commander is pretty much doomed, forced to retreat. The factory is down. The crab won't even be able to be built. And even if it is, it's so close to dead. It does not matter. So Troutor has lost everything. Bit of an attempt from Glaives here from Silent Shadow to maybe take out the center, which is not very well defended, so not a bad idea. But the Western team, even if they lose their economy right now, they've taken so much territory away from Troutor. They've wiped out everything but their commander. And there's not a whole lot that Trowator can really do to recover from this without getting rid of the army that Manu has in their base. That's wiped out the commander and destroyed basically everything without Trowator figures, you know what, we can't take this. Votes to resign. And really it's up to Angel Killer or Silent Shadow. And it looks like Silent Shadow agrees. This game is over.
and Western team takes it convincingly from start to finish. They had the advantage, and wait, who requested this? Yorovorax requested this. I don't know who that is. I mean, I really don't know who that is based on this. Their Twitch name does not match their in-game name. Anyway, that was that. Pretty short, somewhat exciting 3v3. I mean, certainly a demonstration of the kind of power you can have when you're being careful with your tanks and making sure that your opponent can't... Or you don't attack until you know you can actually deal with things. That crab was... That crab stun was perfectly timed. Like, Mana knew exactly what they were doing on that one. And Chezio just doing a great job just running interference. I like the way Angel Clear was trying to harass, but Chezio made sure that was not going to happen. So, that was that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that cast and set of games, especially the longer ones. Those were actually pretty fun. Anyway, yeah. So, thanks again for watching. I don't know. We're going to try to get back to streaming more regularly, but we'll see. This week, probably a bit easier than the last week. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a good night. And see you next time.